And here we go. This is Mike Lodge. I am the business advisor, and I'm glad that you've joined me on this nice day. The sun is coming up, and I think it's going to be a nice semi-hot day. <laughs> it's summertime, right? I mean, what can you say? I mean, the sun comes up, and the the boiler goes on. I tell you, when I go swimming, the water is so nice and warm. I mean, it's like you just walk in and you don't have... You know, when you first jump into a swimming pool and you feel that initial cold shock to the body? Not here. Here, it is um, nice and warm. It's like walking into bath water almost. So, yesterday, I spent my time watching the full coverage because I knew I was going to talk about it today. The, the full coverage of... The IRS whistleblowers before Congress. And uh, listen, I have worked with the IRS criminal division and also the international division uh, several times. And I have found them to be highly professional people. They are, uh, they ask good questions. They act very professionally. Um, And I I have never had a problem with them. They were always nice people. But... What I saw yesterday uh, within Congress, uh, I am fed up with Congress. I truly am. They had an opportunity to talk to these two IRS employees with a good amount of experience under the belt in criminal and international fraud issues that they could have gotten some really good answers But instead, what did the Democrats decide to do? They turned it around and made it into a political show about Trump. Now, Trump has nothing to do with with any of this. This happens to be with Hunter Biden, Joe Biden, the the tracking of the money, and uh, what, what happened during this whole fiasco with Hunter Biden and his father. And do we, and the question should have been asked several times, do we have a national security issue? Is he compromised with these com- countries that have paid him money? And I think yesterday it came up to about $17 million that these two had received. Now, the members of the IRS that were there had the answers. And we got a lot of answers yesterday. One of the questions that I really wanted to know, though, The money came in from these foreign governments to these LLCs, and then it was given to some of the grandchildren and some other members of the family. Did they pull those tax returns to see if they were reported, that money was reported on those individual tax returns? And then what happened to the money after that? Where did that money go to once it hit their personal bank accounts? And we've never been able to get to that answer. I've never heard the answer to that. And that was that would have been one of the questions is to follow the flow of money and the reporting of that money on individual tax returns. But yesterday, <clears throat> I tell you, the, the, the way that the Democrats portrayed them, themselves was really ridiculous and very unprofessional and just worthless all around. I mean, it really was bad. And one of the the issues is there is a federal law, and it's called the Whistleblower Protection Act. And it was established in federal law to encourage individuals within the government with insider information about misconduct or illegal activities to come forward without fear of retaliation. It allows these people to come forward through a legal forum to be able to tell their story and not to be hounded or to or to be uh badly managed by their uh managers or employee employee um, employees so the whistleblower protection act provides safeguards to ensure that these whistleblowers are shielded from adverse actions such as termination demotion harassment, the protection exceeds to, I mean, it extends to various sectors, including 
federal agencies like the Internal Revenue Service. Now, they mentioned yesterday that they were being kind of harassed by their, by their managers that were above them. They were not responding to their emails, not talking to them. That is a type of harassment. And it should not be tolerated. In fact, these are two good guys who came forward risking everything to tell about a potential crime that was going on, a potential fraud, a potential national security issue when you're dealing with monies coming in from all different types of people associated with, with governments, and not friendly governments, by the way. So I had a really concern about this whistleblower uh, uh, situation because the way that the that the Democrats tried to grill them was to make them look bad, not ask them questions about the circumstances that they were investigating. But instead, they brought in President Trump and how bad Trump was, and and it was just a, a campaign situation. They turned it into a political circus, is what they did. And it made them look very bad, very petty, and very stupid. The key word there is stupid, okay? But we have to be very concerned about this Whistleblower Protection Act because it allows individuals who see something bad going on to say something without any repercussions from their bosses. And unfortunately, these two individuals are having that situation right now where the uh, management of the IRS, or their managers of the, inside the IRS, is kind of harassing them and not responding to any emails to them. I mean, it's been a couple of months now, and they refuse to talk to their employees. Nothing like that should ever happen. It should be business. There's an understanding that there's an ongoing congressional investigation. These two individuals are complying through the Whistleblower Protection Act. And IRS management should just shut up. Act professional like these two individuals are acting professional. And listen, I, I've, I've talked with these uh, divisions of the, of the IRS criminal division and the international division and I, I highly respect them because they have always treated my clients with utmost respect. Even though the client may have done something wrong, they still treated them with, with respect. And they asked the questions, they got their answers, and did their investigation, and did what they had to do. But when, when members of Congress make a very important committee hearing look stupid, political, and don't get down to the issues of what's good for this country. We need to know if there is a national security issue. We need to know if there was a fraud committed. We need to know if there was a crime committed by either Hunter or Joe Biden. Because that puts our national security at risk if they are taking monies into their bank accounts from foreign governments or foreign businesses to get preferential treatment to the vice president at that time and then now the president. So it's very important that we get down to the nitty-gritty questions on what actually happened. Where's the flow of the money? Where did it go into? Who were man who, who who which individuals were managing that money? What individuals were holding the money or touching the money? Where are the contracts to show the business relationships? Where are the contracts that show what was expected from either Hunter Biden or Joe Biden. Where are those contracts? If it's a legitimate contract, you will have, I mean, if it's a legitimate business deal, you will have those contracts in place. And if, you, or the, if these are legitimate LLCs, what constitutes them as a business? 
besides just flowing money from one account to the another account to another account. So if if we don't get down to the bottom of this, this opens up the avenue for other politicians to act in this similar way. And they may have. There may be Republicans that have done this. There may be uh, Democrats that have done this. But we need to know what was the sole purpose of receiving this money. And that's what we need to know, understand of what was expected on the flow of this money. It's interesting, isn't it? I mean, here we are talking about a crime coming from the office of the president in the office of the vice president when he was vice president. We have a son who has a drug problem. I am beginning to wonder if Joe Biden really loves his son because he has pushed that kid around as the money source of their family, going out and making these special deals with other foreign countries, making threats against these companies when they don't get their money. So we see a whole pattern that appears to be illegal from the beginning until the end of the transaction. If it was you and I, we would be in jail right now. But we seem to have a problem within the internal sources of the FBI, the Internal Revenue Service, and the Department of Justice. So we have... A, a wall in front of us where these three organizations don't seem to want to comply with what the rule of law is. And so the American people don't know what's going on because we can't get to the truth. We can't get to the nitty-gritty of this. And if we have government agencies protecting the president of illegal activity or alleged illegal activity. We have a problem here because these are the very same organizations that are supposed to protect the American people against illegal activity. So that's my comment of yesterday. I've written my comments down below. You can go to my blog and, and see what I've written on that. But that's how I feel. I feel as though that what happened yesterday, there were some very good questions asked, and then there were individuals on the Democratic side who decided to make it into a political theater and not get to the answers that the American people want to know. That is a big problem. Listen, if, if you are a business and if you would like to talk to someone confidentially about business issues you know, or you need coaching, Go to my website, and you can schedule an appointment online at www.lodge-co.com. If you have a business question, and I love business questions, send it to thebusinessadvisor at gmail.com. Talk with you soon. Everybody go out and have a great day. Bye-bye.